Hey guys, thank you for being patient tonight. I know that we are uh, a minute or two late getting started. You know, at least once a week, right? We have a night where a whole bunch of people bid without knowing what they're bidding on and then they come back and want to cancel their bids and claim they don't know how to cancel an order and yeah, it turns into a whole big thing that sucks up a massive amount of time. So that's what we had tonight, some fun little stuff like that. And so we're a couple minutes late getting started, but uh, that's all right, because we're going to make up for it. We're going to have some awesome hits tonight. I feel it. I feel it coming. Changing that a little bit. It looks kind of like off-center. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be all good to go here. So let's start out. We've got a little process we run through. If you haven't done a break with me before, um, you'll see we've got a couple of minutes here at the start where we go through a few things. First up, guys, feedback is completely automated on eBay for me. So as soon as you leave positive feedback, you're going to instantly get it in return. That way you don't have to wait on me to get caught up because it seems like I'm always either breaking or sorting or shipping or something. And uh, so that's one less thing you have to wait on me to do. Second thing on that page, of course, the most important part is to say thank you to everyone. I, I always say it at the end of the break. I sometimes forget at the beginning. That's to help remind me. I always appreciate you guys bidding with me, breaking with me, chatting with me, and all that stuff. Next up, we'll take a quick look at the things that are coming up in the next five days that are already listed on eBay. There's all kinds of one-box breaks and memorabilia, usually mixed in with some cases as well. Note that tomorrow night we're starting at 9.30 as opposed to our normal uh, 10 o'clock start time. So we're going to start a little early because we've got uh, a quarter case of the Hobby Direct Panini Prestige Basketball and then a half case of Heritage Baseball. And both of those take a little bit of time to get through. And then, of course, our other stuff is the one box breaks. Monday is all memorabilia and one box breaks. That's to give me time to sort all the stuff from Sunday. Tuesday, of course, uh, a little memorabilia, a little one box, and another quarter case of the Hobby Direct Prestige Basketball. Wednesday, we are going to get into what? Optic Football, Contenders Optic Football. It's different than Contenders and different than Optic. It's a marriage of the two. We're going to have a half case of that on Wednesday night when it comes out. We're also going to open a half case of Donruss Baseball that will be a massive break. That will be a probably a 1500 card break. So we're starting early that night too. And then Thursday, uh, we're going to do some more encased football, a half case of that, some more heritage baseball, and a half case of 2011 prime signatures. And for those of you who might have been expecting select basketball on Wednesday, that got delayed. So um, Panini moved the release date to Friday night. So it's not or to Friday, not Friday night. So it's not coming out this upcoming Wednesday. It's coming out on Friday, whatever day that is, like the 9th, I think, of March. So guys, if you're in one of these breaks tonight, please take a moment to look at what you see on the screen there. All of our breaks that have free shipping, which are the first four that we're doing tonight, uh, that stuff's going to ship out approximately Thursday. That's because anything with free shipping, I send it out about five to six days after the auction ends. Please also take a moment to look at the information on the screen there if you uh, that tells you what happens if you don't pull a card in a break. You're, you're entitled to a consolation card. It tells you when it's typically sent. There's more information about all of that in the listing description as well in more detail. And then, of course, tonight our paid shipping break is the half case of Contenders Basketball and that will go out probably Tuesday. This is also the order that we're breaking in. So gold signature football, encased football, preferred basketball, gold signature basketball, and contenders basketball. That's the order that we're rolling in tonight. So let's take a look. I'm way down there at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Let's get back up here to the top. So first up is one box of 2017 Hit Parade Gold Signature Edition Football. This is break number four. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, uh, March the 3rd. And of course, we're live streaming it tonight. Team names are on the left and your name in light says the winning bidder across from it on the right hand side. You'll notice the Dallas Cowboys. That's one of our teams we had a little problem with tonight in this break. Uh, so that original buyer is no longer part of this break. 
I did send out a second chance offer. I know somebody, the original underbidder did not want it, so it went on down the line. So um, if you are, if you were the third bidder in line on that break, <laughs> you have a, a second chance offer in your uh, inbox for the Cowboys. And you're going to see that the background is going out of focus here. That's by design. Don't worry. You're going to be able to see your cards just fine. I just don't like to use the autofocus on this. And I see Aaron and Kian's dad are in chat. So is Brandon. And uh, yeah, so cool, guys. Happy to see all of you. And if anybody is watching live and you cannot see chat, you have to be logged into YouTube to see it. So that's the deal. And if you're on a mobile device, you may have to, uh, you know, click the little thing that says switch to the desktop version. So who do we have here? Oh, this looks like this might be nice, huh? This is a little OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr. rookie card, relic and signature, numbered to, what does that say? 99 for the Giants. So a little OBJ rookie for the Giants. Not bad, not bad. So that is our gold signature hit parade hit for football. So that was, an, that was a quick one, right? That's one card. <laughs> Some of them do go by pretty quickly. Oh, Brandon, is that your team tonight? Did you, hit, did you start off hot, man, and you hit the OBJ? That is the way to fly, isn't it? Always means you got a good night ahead when you start off winning, hitting, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, this is going to bring us up to the encased football break, and uh, that is actually in the wrong spot. I just now noticed that. That was a paid shipping break. So what we really need to do is take that and cut it and put it down here. Although, well, I guess now that's in the wrong order. Ah, crud. Well, anyway, you get the intent. I accidentally pasted it in the wrong uh, place there. So good enough. That's, we can now, <laughs> we got a hole up there. That's okay. We don't care. So actually your encased football is also going to ship um, approximately Tuesday. And in encased, there's something slightly different there, guys, because it is a paid shipping break. If you don't pull a card in encased, you'll be sent something uh, on Tuesday along with the people who do pull a card. You don't have to wait for uh, your next hit in that case, or your next package to ship, whatever you want to call it. So this is four boxes of 2017 in case football, half case break, break number two. This just came out, I guess this week, right? Kind of losing track. I think we started it on Wednesday night, uh, the beginning of this case. And so this is the back part of the case we started already. And then when we break it again on this upcoming Thursday, we'll be starting a brand new case. So that's kind of how that's rolling. Oh, you're all Arizona tonight, Brandon. All right. Well, then let's try to let's try to feel the uh, feel the mojo for your Arizona Cardinals. Then see if we can't uh, bring you home a nice hit for the for the night. So encased, of course, we've got one card in here that is graded, already ready to go. That's this one. And then we'll have some other autograph and insert cards in our little pack there. The graded cards, of course, are always cool. Because, you know, A, the graded stuff usually sells for more money. B, all the grading services are so backed up right now that if you're trying to get something graded best case scenario you're waiting a month from PSA and if you send it to Beckett well if you send it to Beckett now I hope that you don't plan on doing anything with it for about 12 months because apparently that is approximately how far they are behind right now a full 12 month one year behind is what I am being told if you can imagine that like what in the world why wouldn't you stop taking submissions at some point when you get to be two or three months behind? But no, no, not Beckett, buddy. They're going to keep on rolling. So <laughs> there you go. Kian's dad is looking for Mitch Trubisky because he has a giant collection of Mitch Trubisky cards. He's looking to add to it. 
And Aaron, you are looking for another big Tom Brady hit. And Brandon, uh, did I see the Watson hit last night? I'm assuming you're talking to the people in chat because for sure I saw it and it was so sweet. Yeah, it was so nice. Out of select football, we hit a uh, Deshaun Watson autograph to five. It was, it was nice. So we're starting out here with Tariq Cohen to 10. So your Chicago Bears are coming out hot, uh, Kian's dad. So maybe that'll mean that we'll find you a Trubisky in here somewhere. Next up, we have Nathan Peterman for the Buffalo Bills. And Peterman is numbered 249. And I think I might remember who has the Bills. If it is, it's somebody who sent me a message saying, hey, I better, I better pull something good tonight because I didn't do too well in the first half of the case. So uh, when, that's not verbatim, okay? That's my paraphrasing. But <laughs> if it's who I think it is, he'll be glad to have a hit. Well, anybody's going to be glad to have a hit, but you know what I mean. Carlos Henderson to 75 for the Broncos. And then we have Joe Williams with a really nice patch there to 25 for the 49ers. That's substantial rookie swatches. And I love those big patches like that that are part of a letter or part of a you know, number or something. I think those are cool. I apparently have all my sleeves upside down, and I really don't know how I manage that, but I guess that's what I did. Mark Brunel, for some reason we're pulling him all the time for the Jags. This is the 49 Century Collection relic. Like, I don't know, did Panini just find like a whole drawer of Mark Brunel uh, jerseys or something? <laughs> so they put them all in in case? I don't know. But it seems like we're finding them um, a lot, right? More than we should, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Next up is Marcus uh, Mariota for the Tennessee Titans. On our base card, we have a redemption, which I'm going to set aside. I'm going to make you wait to find out who that is. And that's terrible, mean, and awful. I know, but, but that's what we're going to do. Number to 10, another substantial rookie swatch. This one is Joe Mixon for the Bengals. Dalvin Cook. And Dalvin is numbered to 49. We've got four swatches there, but they're all the same color. So Panini kind of kind of let me down on that a little bit. I would like to have had at least one two color in there. But Vikings, we got you on the board anyway with Mr. Dalvin Cook. <laughs> I just looked over in chat and Viking Breaks <laughs> told uh, Kean's dad that he has he has more uh, one of ones of Mitch Trubisky than Mitch Trubisky completed passes this year. <laughs> That's just not nice, man. Eli Manning for the New York Giants. Here comes another Joe Mixon for the Bengals. This one is numbered 249. We've got four swatches there and at least some, some different colors in there. you got all three of the Bengals uniform colors uh, showing up along the way. Another Dalvin Cook. So the Vikings with a couple for Cook right now. Now my sleeves are back to the opposite direction. What is going on over there? And this one is numbered to 25 substantial rookie swatches. Mr. Kirk. Cousins. Yeah, maybe the $30 million man. That's what they're speculating. So how about that? Nice little hit for the Redskins. And you know, this is the third or fourth Kirk. Why can I not get this open? The third or fourth Kirk Cousins on card autograph with a low number that we have pulled in like the last month. In fact, we pulled one out of contenders even numbered to 15. This one is to 25, hard signed on card uh, with a relic. Nice hit for the Redskins. We've got another redemption. Boo, redemptions. We don't want all those redemptions. But we have them anyway, so there you go. Greg Olson for the Panthers is our base card. Christian McCaffrey's coming out 
for the Panthers, numbered 249 as well, with a little trio of relics. And here comes Mr. O.J. Howard. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that is such a sweet piece of cloth right there. I love that. Where's the number on that? It's five of five. It's down there in the lower right-hand corner, but that's part of the logo. And I always love when you get part of the logo. So it's a really sweet little O.J. Howard uh, patch. Five, number five of five. We still have our two redemptions, which, uh, well, I was, yeah, we'll wait. We'll look at them after we open our graded cards. We'll look at them very last, I guess. Oh, this one makes me happy. Juju Smith-Schuster for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Number to 49. Hard signed. And uh, I don't know. He's got some inscription on there, but I don't really know what it says. But anyway, there it is. It's graded. Uh, the card is graded to 9. The autograph is graded to 10. I'm sure most of you remember from last year, these don't have subgrades. They're just the... Uh, the basic grade, I think, because they charge less to have them graded that way. That's probably what Panini decided to do. Mike Williams for the Chargers. This is autograph grade 10, card grade 9.5, and that is sweet. It's numbered to 5. You've got a hard-signed autograph and two really nice patches on that. Uh, and the 9.5 grade, nothing to, nothing to be sad about either on a card numbered to 5. Kansas City Chiefs. Well, it's not Kareem, but you got Pat Mahomes. Autograph grade to 10, card grade to 9. It is numbered to 25, and uh, he also seems to have put his Twitter handle on there. So you have his autograph and his Twitter handle as a bonus <laughs> for the Kansas City Chiefs. Noah, that was yours? All right, man. Awesome. Rams, Cooper Cup. We've got a 10 autograph grade, a 9.5 card grade. This is numbered to 10. And, of course, uh, hard signed also with the inscription of Go Rams. So very nice little Cooper Cup hit as well. Now let's take a look at our redemptions. And you know that I'm going to go to the checklist on these because I always do. That's just how I roll. And I can tell you one of these is something that somebody sent me a message and specifically said they wanted to pull. So somebody's going to be happy. First up is Mac Holland's Rookie Notable Signatures Gold. And Mac Holland's, of course, is going to be the Eagles. That is not the page we meant to go to. This is. And let's see what it's going to be numbered to. Get all this pulled up. I better make sure I put you on the right page with me. I think I did. Yeah. All right. We're good. Every once in a while, I'll just be talking away about what we see on screen. And it's, oh, yeah, whoops, I forgot to bring you with me occasionally. But not tonight. Tonight, we've got it covered. Rookie Notable Signatures Gold. Where are you? And it is card number seven. Mr. Mac Hollins is going to be numbered to 10 for the Eagles. Very nice. Then, let's flip back, because I don't think I showed you the other redemption yet, did I? So we'll flip back and look at that. Oops, except I put you on a black screen, so that was not, <laughs> not helpful, was it? <laughs> so our next redemption is Rookie Cap Patch Autographs, and it is Mr. Zay Jones for the Buffalo Bills. How about it? All right, got to get myself back into the right card set here which I already forgot, Rookie Cap is what it starts with. And Zay Jones is card number 111. So that one's going to be numbered to 75 for the Bills. So that's still a very um, respectable number there to 75. And we're going to recap all this fun stuff. Well, oh, Brandon, I'm sorry. We didn't pull you a Cardinal tonight, but you know what? I'm still going to send you something. So you're still going to get something in the mail 
uh, from, from tonight. So maybe you'll have better luck then with what comes to you, hopefully. I'm sorry, we didn't pull you anything good tonight. So for the Bengals, this is recapping the Joe Mixon relic. Dalvin Cook, one of a couple of cards for him tonight for the Vikings. Here is Joe Mixon to 10 for the Bengals. And for whatever reason that we keep finding Mark Brunel, we're finding him again because he's he's in like all the products all of a sudden for the Jags. I think we found him in select too. Like, I don't know, what's the sudden fascination? But anyway, Joe Williams to 25 for the 49ers. Sweet little OJ Howard patch. I love that patch. That is to five. It is part of uh, the Bucks logo. Christian McCaffrey to 49 with the triple relic. Then, uh, well, we've got one more that's uh, another Dalvin Cook down here. This one to 25, another substantial rookie. Are they both that? Are they both substantial rookie swatches for Dalvin? No, the other one was the quad relic. Okay. I had to think about that a minute. Carlos Henderson to 75. Nathan Peterman to 49. Sweet little Kirk Cousins here to 25 for the Redskins. It's a very nice hit for the Redskins. Our Redemptions, uh, Zay Jones for the Buffalo Bills. That one will be to 75. And then Mac Hollins for the Eagles will be to 10. And let me set that over here. And then we'll do another quick little pass through our graded cards. We did pretty well on our graded stuff, I think. Cooper Cup, uh, Pat Mahomes, Mike Williams, and then Juju Smith-Schuster. So that is this half of Encased. And uh, remember, we will be starting a new case of Encased <laughs> when we break it next, which will be on Thursday night. So... All right, guys, let's see what is up next. We're switching over to basketball coming up for the rest of the evening. So for all my football folks, if you're taking off, uh, thank you again for jumping in and joining us tonight. And we'll be, uh, we'll be back at it, of course, with more football and stuff tomorrow night as well. This is going to bring us to one box of 2016-17 Panini Preferred Basketball. If you're in this break, please take a moment to look at your anticipated shipping date as well as what happens if you don't pull a card in this break. All the info is on the screen. There's more detailed information about that in the listing description as well. So this is one box of 2016-17 Panini Preferred Basketball, break number two, second time we've busted it. Like everything else tonight, this one uh, ended on March the 3rd on eBay and we're live streaming it on March the 3rd as well. So there's your, your name across from your team. It's time to work your mojo. Put it out in the universe. Let's see what we can get out of preferred basketball here. And we're going to find in here a couple of booklets and a Where did I put my There it is. A couple of autograph cards and a couple of booklets. That's what we're looking for in here. Alan, that was your Kirk Cousins. That was a sweet little card, wasn't it? Yeah, that was nice. I'm telling you, all of a sudden, just Kirk Cousins, we're pu I'm pulling him so often. That is literally the third or fourth time that I have pulled a nice low number, like hard signed Kirk Cousins in the last like three weeks. Didn't pull him forever, and now all of a sudden he's everywhere. It's kind of crazy, but crazy in a good way. Okay, so let's look at our let's look at our booklets first, because I think that's that's gonna be that's just what we're gonna look at first, because that's what I want to look at first. <laughs> All right, this is um, Kevin Love, the finals, and um, it's a nice big swatch there, Kevin Love for the Cavs, and it is numbered to ninety nine. So, of course, this is game-worn material. He wore it in whatever game is on this game, two, it says, of the finals. So, 
How about that? Got a little playoff relic there for the Cavs with Mr. Kevin Love. And our next booklet. Oh boy, this one's going to have to go to random unless we have the same team owner. Jabari Parker and Aaron Gordon to 99 in the Versus booklet, which is a trifold. And they really didn't do us any favors with just two white patches, did they? I mean, come on. You would think of one of them. Maybe they could have given us a little extra color, but no such luck. So Bucks and Magic. Let's roll over to the spreadsheet again for a second. We'll see if we have the same team owner or a different one. And, of course, I had already rolled us ahead to the next break because I wasn't thinking about having to do random here. Shame on me. Milwaukee Bucks, Mar Bryant, four. And then the magic, unless it's the same person, which it is not, it is Vuka Jim. So we will be taking that card to random, but we'll wait a minute to do it. We'll look at our other hits in here and then we'll deal with that one. The Memphis Grizzlies, we have Zach Randolph, and Zach is numbered to 25. That's a hard signed auto and, of course, a relic with it. Nice low number to 25 for Memphis. And our second signature is numbered to 50. It is Kurt Thomas for the Knicks. It's a nice-looking card. I like all the gold on there. Of course, that's hard signed uh, auto as well. So Knicks and Grizzlies and Cavs, we know what's happening with those. This little uh, dual team booklet here is what's going to random right now. So I always do these things either left to right or top to bottom. So in this case, it'll be left to right. We've got the Bucks will be typed in first. The Magic will be typed in second. And I will do random on this three different times, guys. And the first two times are not going to count. It is only the third and final random that will count and tell us where this is gonna go. And when, whenever we have just, you know, two, three, four, five items in a list, I do random three times. If we have a bunch of items in a list, I just do it once, but all right, doesn't count. Second one doesn't count. Third and final does. And there you will see randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp. That is going to the magic. Which I need to write down so that I can remember that without having to go back and watch the video later. <laughs> okay, so dual relic headed to the magic by way of random.org. Nice little Kevin Love for the Cavs with the uh, game-worn relic that actually was worn in game two of the finals. Then the Kurt Thomas hard-signed to 50 for the Knicks. And the Zach Randolph hard-signed to 25 for the Memphis Grizzlies. And that has preferred all finished up. Which is now going to bring us to our uh, gold signature hit parade that I had queued up there a second ago, not thinking about the fact that we might have a little random to do. And again, if you are in this break, please take a moment and look at the information on the screen. You'll find your anticipated shipping date and information about what happens if you are not the team whose card is pulled out of here. More information on that is in the listing description as well. One box of 2017 Hit Parade Gold Signature Edition Basketball. It's technically 1718, but whatever, I already typed in 2017 up there. And this is break number three, third time we've broken it. You'll see a couple of spots in here that say no bids buyback. That's um, just orphan teams, unloved, unwanted. No one gave them a forever home. So if a card were to come out for one of those teams, it's going to hang out here with me and join that gigantic pile of cards that I still don't have sorted from the last what seems like 20 years. <laughs> Otherwise, if it comes out for one of you guys, uh, it'll be headed your way roughly Thursday of next week. And then, of course, after we take a look at this, we'll be into our main event tonight, which is the half case of contenders, and it's the back half of the case that we started uh, a couple days ago. And I don't know who's I don't know whose signature this is. <laughs> Intrigue. Oh, it's Scotty Pippen. 
I was like, I don't know why I was having such a hard time with that. Ah, cool. It is Scottie Pippen, uh, numbered to 20 for the Bulls. So very cool. Out of intrigue, as you see, obviously it's already in a one-touch case uh, right out of the box. And I'm trying to get it at an angle where you can see the numbering on it. It's got a big-time glare on it. But very nice uh, hit for the Bulls with the hard-signed Scottie Pippen, numbered to 20, out of intrigue. So cool. Cool, cool hit. Here's just showing you it's empty in there. And let me get a few things uh, rearranged over here off to the right-hand side. And I've got to switch out my mats. Uh, I've got some new mats. One of my reps, who is awesome and always takes good care of me, sent me some new breaking mats. Because these have gotten, you know, they're kind of worn and, they have, you know, they got marks on them. And they're dirty and they're not dirty, but you know what I mean. They need to, I want some new ones, basically. I think we've used these long enough. So he was kind enough to send me some new ones, which I've got to break down the table here and uh, get them put out so we can start using them because I'm, I'm super happy to have them. It's just a chore to get everything off the table and get everything laid back down. And then, you know, because I got mats all off to the right, too, where I sort. And this is our contenders basketball break that's coming up. So in this case, you will see down there that your anticipated shipping date for this is Tuesday because this is a paid shipping break. And as always, if I can get it out to you faster than that, I will. But that's kind of the time frame that I think we're most likely going to hit. And everybody should pull a card in here so we don't have to worry about consolation cards in this break because uh, every team's going to have something coming their way. This is six boxes of 2017-18 Panini Contenders Basketball. It is a half case break. Break number four ended tonight on the third. Live streaming tonight on the third. And of course, same format that you're accustomed to seeing which is the teams on one side and the winning bidder user I, eBay user IDs across from it on the opposite side. And give me one second here. I will be right back. I forgot to bring my water with me. Yeah, got to have my water when we do some of these that take a while. Hi, John Paul. I think I just mailed something out to you today, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Did you get a shipping notice today? I either mailed something to you today or I got something sorted and ready to mail to you today. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I lose track, right, of whether I just sorted or whether I actually shipped it to you. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I had a lot of stuff today that shipped and a lot of stuff that got sorted and ready to ship. So what we're looking for in each box, two autographs. They always say on average, quote unquote. And well, basically they say that because sometimes they put in a Panini Rewards Point card and when they do that, it replaces one of our hits. So if that happens tonight, the whatever rewards point cards that we would hit would be awarded by way of random at the end of the break. And every once in a while, they'll just mess up all together and you won't get the number of hits you're supposed to get and you won't get a rewards point card that replaced it. But fortunately, that does not happen very often. The entire year last year... That only happened twice. Actually, three times. No, twice. Once was tops. Twice with Panini and once with tops out of the whole year's worth of breaks. So that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. But, uh, but sometimes it does. So we've got lots of base. We're going to kind of just cut a path through the base unless uh, someone wants to go slower. And if you do, jump in the chat and say so. Otherwise, we'll keep on keeping on. We'll find a bunch of inserts as well. This one is playing the numbers game, Steph Curry. Most of those are not numbered, um, but we still take a look at them. 
And this is Anthony Davis on, this is a standard season ticket, so it's not numbered, but it is in the um, Chrome technology, or they call it Optichrome, I think, or I don't know. They call their stuff so many different things. Sometimes they call it Optic, sometimes they call it Optichrome. Whatever you want to call it, we're just going to refer to it, I think, as Chrome, generically. Another insert playing the numbers game, and that is uh, Steph Curry. For the Warriors. A season ticket Trevor Booker for the Sixers. Chrome. I did send something. Okay, I thought I thought you had something that went out today, but then I was like, oh, I don't know, because I sorted so much stuff and then I shipped so much stuff. I don't know. I got confused for a minute. Most Valuable Contenders, James Harden for the Rockets. For the Kings, we have um, Hall of Fame Contenders, Vince Carter. So we haven't found either one of our autographs yet. They're both over here in this... Uh, other half of our stack playoff ticket numbered to what 249 Julius Randall for the Lakers and is this going to be I hope this is going to be signed yeah nice nice Sacramento Kings pull a little De'Aaron Fox Hard signed with the horizontal orientation, so it's kind of a variation as well. And it's numbered to 75. Sweet little hit there for the Sacramento Kings. Isaiah Thomas winning tickets insert for the Pistons. The other Isaiah Thomas, not currently playing Isaiah Thomas. And if you want a one-touch, uh, one of the magnetic one-touch closure cases for anything that you pull in one of my breaks, always happy to do that. Generally going to cost you about $3 by the time I do the PayPal fees and the cost of the case and all that. This is a 249 playoff ticket for Kevin Durant. So if you want one of those for anything, all you ever need to do is either jump into chat and tell me or you send me a message on eBay and let me know. And I send those out as uh, PayPal money requests when someone wants a case. This is Ivan Rab rookie ticket to 125. That is hard signed. Wilt Chamberlain winning tickets for the Lakers. Oh, this is nice. This is an NBA draft lottery ticket, Jason Tatum. We found one of these the other night, too. You don't find a ton of these uh, lottery tickets. Usually it's just, you know, two, three, a case, something like that most of the time. So that's a nice little insert there for the Celtics with the Jason Tatum. Another one of our inserts is called Front Row Seat. That's this one. I don't know why it has such weird shading issues if you don't hold them at an angle. I can't quite figure out why. It's Isaiah Whitehead for the heat. Of course, I haven't been able to figure it out for the last, you know, year and a half or whatever. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to figure it out tonight all of a sudden. So if any of you weren't in on the first break of Prestige Basketball... Check that out tomorrow night. It's, um, I think it's tomorrow night. We're breaking it again. I'm 99% sure. I just put that spreadsheet up. I don't even remember. Um, it's pretty cool. It is, it was, is a hobby direct. So we couldn't uh, get it from a distributor or a wholesaler, the typical route. It's not for sale at most of the online places. You literally had to get it from a hobby store. And the hobby store had to be a round table dealer, which means they have to buy X amount of Panini products and, I don't know, meet some other kind of criteria as well to be a round table dealer, quote unquote. 
But fortunately, my uh, the guy who owns our hobby store here locally is a really nice guy. And he helped me get that ordered in. And it's a couple of autographs per box. And it also has cracked ice in it for the first time. We've never had that before in Prestige. And the Micro Etch cards are back. And all the Micro Etch are rookie. So what we found so far were all Micro Etch red. Although there is the possibility to pull Micro Etch, I believe, in pink, which are numbered to 10. So we may find some of those uh, later. Oh, Ed, what are you uh, um, ask? What are you asking there, Ed? Uh, the link to the link to the break tomorrow night, or you're asking for a link to something else? I fill me in on that, man. I need a little bit more info, Ed, and then I can help you out. Legendary Ben Wallace for the Pistons, and it is a one of one. So how about that? Detroit Pistons with your little one-of-one one legendary Ben Wallace. Pretty sweet, right? Love some one-of-ones. Yes, we do. Playoff ticket to 249, Devin Booker for the Suns. The finals ticket is to 99, Andre Drummond. And if you didn't hear me say this earlier, uh, another point of reference. We were supposed to have select basketball on Wednesday. That was the release date that Panini had announced. This is most valuable contenders Kyrie Irving for the Celtics. But they had some kind of, I don't know, shipping problem is what I was told. But at any rate... They moved the release date now until Friday. So we're not going to see any select basketball until Friday. With one exception, and that's the first off the line stuff. Markel Fultz for the Sixers. And this is one of our Rookie of the Year contender inserts. This is another one where we find a handful of them in a case. There's not an extraordinary amount of them, so it's a nice... A nice little hit for the Sixers. I don't have, though, guys, a lot of... I'm sorry, I'm trying to reorganize something over here so we have this ready when I want to recap it. Um, first off the line, they there was a, a limit this time. You could only order four boxes. That was it. So no cases, no half cases, just four. Kevin Garnett, Hall of Fame contenders for the T-Wolves. So I did get a shipping notice for that. And I guess it's getting here on Tuesday, which if I had seen the shipping notice earlier, we would have probably tried to break that Tuesday night. But it didn't uh, come through and tell me that. And, you know, you have to have five days notice. Rodney Hood for the Jazz. That is a season ticket unnumbered. So I don't know. I'm considering, I'm playing around with the idea of plugging it in there maybe on Tuesday, just listing it on Monday and doing a one-day auction and breaking it on Tuesday night because Tuesday we don't have a lot going on. So I don't know. I may decide to do that with those just those first off the line boxes. Dwight Howard for the Hawks. Right now I'm talking about select first off the line. Select basketball in general, the wide release was supposed to be on Wednesday. And it got moved to Friday. So the only stuff that I know for sure that would be here by the original release date is the first off the line. Because of my shipping notice, I pulled up the tracking and it shows it's supposed to be here Tuesday. That is uh, Wiggins for the T-Wolves on the front row seats. And what I was saying is, you know, eBay charges you an extra big chunk of money if you run an auction for less than five days. So I didn't know in time to list it to end on Tuesday. That's the T-Wolves. 
So if I list it now to end on Tuesday, they're going to charge me a big hefty fee, but I might do it anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you already got yours. Wow. Okay. Well, I did not get mine. Mine's not coming till Tuesday. Winning tickets for the Spurs, Tony Parker. So did you pull, uh, you probably live closer to them, right? I mean, that's probably the deal. Because I think they're shipping a lot of that stuff out of Texas. So for me, that's a slower FedEx market. And then FedEx home delivery or whatever it is doesn't deliver on Monday or something. I don't know. Anyway, it ends up taking forever. That's the moral of the story. Jordan Clarkson for the Lakers. But what did you uh, what did you hit, Stang Lover? What was in your box? You got to tell us, man. Tell us what the good stuff was, so we can live vicariously. That is Jason Kidd winning tickets for the Mavericks. And hey, you hit some stuff earlier. Were you watching? Did you see all the stuff you hit? Redemption. We're gonna set it aside we're going to do it at the very end of the break because probably we're going to find some more that's my guess oh you haven't opened it yet okay oh yeah no illinois is not closer so tack on man you got yours way ahead of me my stupid tracking says i don't get it until tuesday and really I'm kind of tempted to open some of it myself, but I probably won't. We'll probably do it as a break. If I could have ordered more, I probably would have ordered some to open myself as well. Oh, you just now jumped in? Well, see, you hit some stuff earlier. I'm pretty sure you did. I mean, I'd have to go back and look at the spreadsheet to say 100%, but I'm just kind of remembering part of what you said in your message that you sent me before the break leads me to believe that I think you hit some stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. He says, uh, Stang Lover says in chat, uh, basically I'm paraphrasing, but that he's been hounding Panini about all of his redemptions. You know, we've all got so many of those sitting out, it seems like, and so he's been after them to get his. So he says now they, they must see his information and want to keep him happy. So they shipped him his first off the line super fast. <laughs> Which might be the case. You never know. It is hard, hard pressed to tell what Panini is doing over there. Most valuable contender, the big cat, Carl Anthony Towns. For the T-Wolves, of course. Season ticket, uh, that's just base, not numbered. Hassan Whiteside for the Heat. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm looking forward to getting it, though. I think it's going to be fun to rip into. Because we just finished up Select Football. Kevin Garnett winning tickets, insert. So, uh, we just finished the last of Select Football last night. So... I have too long to wait until we can get into select basketball. To 249, a playoff ticket, Andrew Wiggins for the T-Wolves. Larry Markinen, nice hit for the Chicago Bulls. That is number 249, hard signed, pretty sweet uh Pretty sweet little hit there for the Bulls. Finals ticket. Playing the numbers game, Hassan Whiteside for the Heat. I think I see... Oh, no, it wasn't. I thought I saw a cracked ice, but I guess what I actually saw was this die cut. And um, this is Superstars die cut. That whole little die cut series. This particular one for the Cavaliers with LeBron James. Um, Jessica, you are asking, do they honor old redemptions? Yes. Here's what you need to know about that. Um, 
because it's kind of an interesting way that things happen over there at Panini. So basically, if it's expired or not, you still want to put it in your account just like you normally would. This is Hall of Fame contenders Dwayne Wade for the Cavs. If they still have the card, which sometimes they do, even on older stuff, sometimes they do. So if they have it, they'll usually send it to you. You'll see it within probably a month if they have it. If it's an older card, like an expired kind of thing. Season ticket TJ Warren for the Suns. If you haven't seen anything at all from them and it's been, let's say, three months since you entered the redemption on an expired one. This is winning tickets that, well, forget that sleeve. Whatever its deal is, it's not cooperating. Clay Thompson for the Warriors winning tickets. So if you've waited like three months and you haven't gotten anything, at that point, you can probably safely assume that they don't have the card. So then comes the interesting part. You have to track down a live person, and if you can ever do that, they'll substitute for you. <clears throat> excuse me, substitute for you to 249 playoff ticket LeBron James for the Cavs. And I would recommend the best way to try to find somebody is either by Twitter or Facebook because they never ever answer the phone and they never ever answer their emails. Juwan Evans for the Clippers to 125 is our second hit out of this box. That's hard signed. And then a playing the numbers game, Russell Westbrook for the Thunder. And basically the way they decide usually if they are going to substitute, they'll ask you who some of your favorite players are, who your favorite team is, that kind of stuff. Front row seat, uh, Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs. And then they'll try to find you a card of equal value, basically. So they'll, let's say your redemption was for Kobe Bryant. And that card, if you looked it up in Beckett, had a $100 value. They would try to find you a replacement from your favorite players, favorite teams, whatever, that has a comparable $100 value. Now, conversely, if yours is worth like $10 and you tell them that Carl Anthony Towns is your favorite player, they're not going to send you Carl Anthony Towns. You know what I mean? So, so that's kind of how it works. But the main problem these days is finding a live person to help you. I used to have a little shortcut for that, but I pretty freely shared it for a long time. <laughs> And then I think he got just overrun with people coming and asking for help. And so then he stopped kind of instantly doing it and started saying, oh, you need to check with so-and-so. And then so-and-so never, ever, ever follows up or replies. So then you have to, now we kind of have to forge our own path. So Facebook and Twitter is usually your best bet. Oh, you found a bunch of old redemptions in an album that you had? Yeah, man, scratch them off and send them in. Uh, or enter them, rather. You don't have to send them in, obviously. But I have, um, within the last few months, I mean, I've gotten cards all the way back from, gosh, like 2011, 2012, in football, anyway. This is Hassan Whiteside for the Heat. I did get a 2012, but this has been over a year now, but I had a 2012 Kobe Bryant, but they didn't have my particular card still, but they had another 2012 Kobe Bryant from numbered to 25 as well, which my redemption had been, and they subbed that one out for me right away. It was a LeBron James insert. So I got lucky on that one, but... Just depends. I mean, sometimes they have them, sometimes, sometimes you got to wait. To 25 front row seat, that is a cracked ice parallel. Kind of hard to tell. Maybe if I get the light right, you can see it, see the pattern a little better on it. And that is the big man for NOLA, Anthony Davis. Oh, yours are back from 2008. Ooh, I haven't tried to put one in that old. 
So I do not know how many of those cards they might still have. Winning tickets, Kyrie Irving. Honestly, I think they took some of that stuff and made it into for basketball especially. I think that's part of what became replay. I think they took a bunch of stuff that Redemptions had not been you know, sent in for and that were expired, and I think they put them in replay. <laughs> that's my theory anyway. NBA Inc. Zaza Pachulia for the Golden State Warriors, numbered to 199 for Zaza. And then we have a winning ticket, Wilt Chamberlain for the Lakers. Yeah, it should let you enter them, even from 2008. I mean, it should let you enter them, I think. I don't know why it wouldn't. Season ticket, uh, Wesley Matthews, that one is not numbered. And I think the oldest one I have input myself is from, like, 2010. Uh, I didn't have any problem putting that in. Went in just like a regular one. Another NBA draft lottery ticket. Look who it is. Mr. Donovan Mitchell for the Utah Jazz. So both of our draft lottery tickets uh, that we pulled tonight have been good ones. Jason Tatum on one and Donovan Mitchell on that one. I wish that Panini would do something similar to what Topps does. Uh... Because with tops, if you had a redemption that sat in there long enough, that's not numbered on the Kevin Durant season ticket in Chrome. There's a little box you can check that says you agree to a substitution, and like a couple days later, boom, they slap you another card in the mail. Playoff ticket, Mike Conley to 249. Now, the downside to that is with tops is, of course, you don't have any way to say, what you want as a substitute, like you can with Panini if you ever reach a live person. But uh, the upside is you don't have stuff sitting in there for years and years. You just select substitute and get it and hope they send you something decent and go on. That is playing the numbers game, Wiggins, for the T-Wolves. So I do wish Panini would come up with something that's that you could do like that. Because to me, that would be a far better solution than the way it is now. To 249 playoff ticket, Ricky Rubio. Or even if they would just let us do something like, um, uh-oh. Up and coming, Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. Yeah, there you go. I like it. It is still 199. That one's not hard signed. That's the downside. But got a nice little Donovan Mitchell uh, signature there on an insert to 199 for the Jazz. Winning ticket Isaiah Thomas for the Pistons. Again, the other Isaiah Thomas, the original, if you will, Isaiah Thomas, not the current one. Oh, Jessica, Topps Finest. You know, Topps apparently is not taking expired redemptions anymore. And are you still on here, Stang Lover? Are you the one that told me that? Um, Ed, it should be there for Thursday night. So you would want to go to eBay, of course, put in my seller ID, then put in, um, just pull up any one of the auctions that you see, and if you look over to the right, r underneath my seller ID on one of the auction pages, there'll be an option that says view sellers other items, and then you click on that and sort it by newly listed, because it would have just gone up tonight, 
and then scroll through those, you should find it. Because it's going to end on Thursday night. And it will say, you know, 2017 encased uh, Panini encased football for four box half case break number three. And so, Stang Lover, did you, are you the one that told me that, that Tops is not taking expired redemptions anymore? Because you typed in yes and no. So, what does that mean? <laughs> Got it. Ed, you still can't find it? I mean, you should definitely be able to find it that way if you just, uh, I mean, the other way is to just go into advanced search and type in and then check items by seller type in my user id and it, and again it will bring up all of the auctions and then you can search within that list either for the word encased or you can search for newly listed or any of that stuff but it's it's there uh just to end on thursday night season ticket al horford for the boston celtics that one is not numbered it's just the chrome one Okay, so no, you weren't the one who said it. Okay, somebody told me recently, as in within the last probably six weeks or so, this is to 249 playoff ticket for the Clippers, Gallinari, that Tops is no longer taking expired redemptions. And supposedly, I, I guess that took effect at the first of the year. Hall of Fame contenders Tim Duncan for the Spurs. Because whoever it was that told me this had a Chris Bryant uh, rookie auto redemption and it had expired and they did not take it and did not offer any substitution or anything. Not like they used to. Season ticket uh, Jabari Parker for the Bucks. In the chrome. So I don't know about your top stuff. Based on that information, I'd have to say it may not go through. Hall of Fame contenders, Tony Parker, Spurs. But I personally haven't had an expired Topps Redemption to put in there in a while. I mean, the last one I put in for Topps that was expired probably over a year ago. And it, they did sub that out for me, although I had to physically mail it in and go through some extra steps, but they, they did take care of it. Front row seat, Dwayne Wade for the Cavs. Which, if you want to try that, the phone number that's on the redemption for Tops, somebody really will answer that phone. This is a Devin Booker playing the numbers game for the Suns. And they can tell you whether or not they'll help you manually redeem it. Because for sure you can't do it online with Tops if it's expired. Jimmy Butler for the Bulls. <laughs> you just missed it by 10 years. Well, here's the thing now. So many products are broken these days. And they know that, right? So, I mean, they don't know that you've had it for 10 years. You could have been part of a break and just gotten it this week, you know? I mean, I definitely wouldn't say you've had it for 10 years. <laughs> to 199, another up and coming. This one is Frank Jackson for NOLA. Kevin Durant winning tickets, Golden State Warriors. Yeah, so they won't, they, they, yeah, I just wouldn't volunteer the part that you have had it for 10 years. Ooh, printing plate, another one of one. We already had a one of one autograph. Now we have a little one of one printing plate, and it's the big cat, Mr. Carl Anthony Towns. Pretty cool. And, of course, you can see, guys, that has some scratches and imperfections on that plate, and that's, I mean, part of it because it really was used to print the card. So they're going to have all those kind of marks and things on them, and that is perfectly acceptable for a printing plate. They're not expected to be minty mint. Steph Curry is our superstar die cut here.
Dirk Nowitzki, NBA Inc. To 10. Dallas Mavericks with a nice Nowitzki to 10. I don't pull a whole lot of Dirk Nowitzki autos, uh, so I'm kind of glad to see that one. Ray Allen for the Heat. Winning tickets. Jessica, I have uh, been breaking on eBay for, oh, I don't know, year, year and a half, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, before that, I was, uh, I, I collected for many years when I was younger. My whole family collects. We're just a family of collecting fools, really. We all, we all collect multiple things. My mom, my dad, my sister, the whole lot of us. And when I was younger, I collected, well, amongst other things, comic books and baseball cards and the usual stuff kids collect, because back then it wasn't that you had $1,000 boxes of cards. So I had a lot of baseball cards in particular, not as much football and basketball. And then when I got older, you know, I lost interest in them and I sold all that stuff off and never thought about it again. Until probably three years ago, about, something like that. And then there was a player that went from uh, UK, which is where I went to school, to my alma mater. And they were drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers, who is my, the Steelers are my favorite NFL team. So there's my, you know, guy from my school, drafted by my favorite team. So I thought, you know, I'm going to go track down some cards for him. And I figured eBay was the way to do it. And lo and behold, hey, here's something that didn't exist the last time I had been collecting, which was breaks. So you can imagine, I got right back into the swing of things pretty quickly and have never looked back since. And if they had had this when I was a kid, I probably would have developed some kind of an addiction and I would have, you know, been living in a cardboard box because I would have spent all my money on card breaks. <laughs> this is to 25 and it is Willis Reed Cracked Ice for the New York Knicks. <laughs> Sting Lever says collector or hoarder. Come on, man. <laughs> That's just wrong. We are not hoarders. No one in my family is a hoarder. <laughs> but we do all collect stuff. Jonas Villacunas. My dad, for instance, uh, well, he collects UK stuff, uh, University of Kentucky, when I was talking about a minute ago. Nicholas Batum playoff ticket to 249 But in addition to collecting UK stuff, he also collects Maker's Mark whiskey, if you guys are familiar with that. So my dad has got, in fact, he has bought even extra furniture, like big, um, I don't know what you call them, like cabinets, credenzas, curios. I don't know what you would call them. But anyway, he's bought some of those just to display his, his collected whiskey. The Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, for the Milwaukee Bucks. So those are his things, uh, pretty much. Anything UK-related and then Maker's Mark Whiskey. My sister's all over the place. She's got a bunch of different stuff. And uh, my mom, my mom's kind of about S Santa's lately. This is TJ Warren for the Suns season ticket. She likes Santa figurines and pewter figurines and UK stuff. And I'm trying to think what else mom has. I don't know. Mom's got a bunch of stuff at her house, too, so... <laughs> it was Bud Dupree, as a matter of fact. Good call, Jessica. Yeah, it absolutely was Bud Dupree. That was, I've got a bunch of Bud Dupree stuff. This is to 199, a third up and coming. Derek White for the Spurs. I don't usually pull that many up and comings out of one case. Dwayne Wade winning tickets for the Heat. And I'm worried about Bud, man, because he did not have a stellar season last year. And they haven't, at least as of yet, I don't think, they haven't picked up the the uh, fifth year on his option on his rookie contract. So I'm worried that they're going to 
ditch Bud, but they shouldn't. He's good. He just, you know, he had some injuries. He got a little off track, but I hope they don't get rid of him. DeAndre Jordan for the Clippers front row seat insert. And another Hassan Whiteside. This one is a season ticket chrome unnumbered. Playing the numbers game. Rudy Gobert for the Jazz. But yeah, I'm kind of, you know, once I got back into cards, it's like I just jumped in with both feet. And of course, I started collecting again right away. I instantly ended up with an enormous collection because I was just buying into breaks like every spare moment of my life. <laughs> Plus buying a lot of stuff to open myself. So I collected well beyond just my original intent of Bud Dupree. And then the next thing you know, I was back to being hooked to 249 Blake Griffin playoff ticket. But it's just so much fun. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. That's all there is to it. Hall of Fame contenders, Paul Gasol for the Spurs. Like, I don't know who wouldn't like breaking cards. Because it's fun. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. And I know a lot of people that break and then things go way up in price, like the way Contenders is right now and what people are paying for cases. So they'll go sell some of their cases off intact. And I'm like, no, I want to break them. I don't really care that they're selling for a lot because I the fun part to me is the breaking. This is Zach Randolph. It is numbered to 49 NBA Inc. for the Sacramento Kings. Mr. James Worthy winning tickets insert. And then we still have our redemption here to flip over. So one person is still going to be happy. We're going to recap here in a second as well. And, of course, you guys know I'm a nerd. I'm going to go to the checklist once we flip this over, even if we know who the player is. That's just what I do. So just, you know. And it is Josh Hart, Rookie Variation Season Ticket Premium Edition Gold. So that is quite a mouthful. So the Premium Edition basically means that it's chrome. We may as well go on and write Lakers on here. And the Variation... I think means it would be the horizontal orientation and the gold probably means it's going to be very low numbered, but we're about to find, we're about to find all that out or at least the numbered part out. I guess we're not going to find all of it, all of it out, but we'll find at least the numbered part. And what did I say this was again? Well, first we got to get there before I have to worry about that. I got to get to here. All right, rookie variation. Let's start with that. Season ticket premium. But then I got to have the one that says gold. So we'll just have to guess and see if that's it. Yes, it is. Yay. And so it is going to be to 10. And there is Mr. Josh Hart for the Lakers to 10. And of course, Meanwhile, the Lakers are just going, oh, man, why did it have to be Josh Hart? <laughs> why couldn't it have been Lonzo to 10 or Kuzma to 10? But, hey, Lakers, you never know. Josh Hart may turn the corner and be awesome, too. I don't know. Maybe. All right, guys, let's uh, recap first our numbered cards. So I'm not going to read all these numbers off again. There's a cracked ice. But we're just looking through them so that if someone hits this at a recap later, didn't watch the break live, and just wants to kind of hit the high points, uh, that we can make it nice and easy for them. So there is all of that. Then we have a die cut uh, superstar, an um, NBA draft lottery ticket, another die cut superstar, another NBA draft lottery ticket. And a Rookie of the Year contender insert. Those are not numbered, but I set them aside because, you know, we don't find a lot of those per case. 
And then the rest of our hits, the Josh Hart to 10 for the Lakers. NBA Inc. to 49, Zach Randolph for the Kings. Up and coming for the Spurs, Derek White to 199. That one is a sticker. The NBA Inc. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki numbered to 10. That is to 10, right? Yeah, 7 of 10 for the Dallas Mavericks. Our nice little one of one printing plate there for the Big Cat and the T-Wolves. Up and coming Frank Jackson to 199 for Nola. Up and coming to 199 Mr. Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. That is a nice hit for the Jazz. Zaza for the Golden State Warriors to 199. Rookie ticket hard signed 125 Jawan Evans and the Clippers. A finals ticket hard signed to 49 for the Bulls, Laurie Markinen, which is a nice hit as well. One of one, baby. Yeah, it is. So we had the one of one printing plate. Now we have the one of one legendary uh, insert here with the Ben Wallace autograph for the Detroit Pistons. Rookie ticket Ivan Rabb to 125 hard signed for the Grizzlies. And then finally, a nice little hard signed uh, De'Aaron Fox to 75 for the Sacramento Kings. All in all, a good half, I think. Yeah, that Pippin in the other break was nice, John Paul. I don't know who you had in here, but you said you didn't hit much out of contenders, so I'm sorry. That's kind of a drag. But I do have another case of contenders, which I'll get worked in somewhere along the way. Um, we're probably going to finish Premier Basketball first, and then we'll do some Select, and then probably somewhere after that we'll work some more contenders in. I've also got some Revolution um, Hobby, not the Chinese New Year that we've already opened, but some more Revolution Hobby is in. Uh, what else? I don't know. I've got some other basketball stuff, too, so... So we have, we have a lot of basketball we'll be breaking over the days ahead. If anyone missed it or you just scroll to the recap, here's your information about shipping dates. Uh, so if you want to take a look at that, there it is, as well as what happens if you didn't pull a card in one of the earlier breaks. And for the same purpose of anybody who might be watching the recap, here's our list of upcoming breaks on eBay. And meanwhile, while I'm scrolling down here and looking at this, uh, I'm going to take another minute to say thank you to everybody. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you breaking with me and bidding with me and keeping me company in chat and uh, all that stuff. I really like to break cards. It's a lot of fun for me, so I always have fun doing it, and I hope that you guys do too, even even sometimes when, when you don't get, get the hits you want. I hope you still have fun during the break anyway, so... All right, guys, that is it for me tonight. I've got to get sorting and get things in top loaders and all that. So I am out and finished for now, and we will see you tomorrow night. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.